morality and immorality come together. Uh, in America, we just don't have that. We have everybody maintains their own morality. There's Christian morality, there's uh, Muslim morality, Hindu morality, Buddhist morality, there's people that have morality from uh, uh, yeah, philosoph philosophical morality, that, that, secular that's morality. How it is. Christian morality, Hindu majority, Muslim majority, minority, the, the, mor the morality of the, the, the overall morality will be that of the majority. Okay. So we will have to, uh, either we, we follow or we, we, we have to suffer. Uh, uh, as, in, as in France, they don't want the uh, Muslim community, Muslim women, to have the scarf yeah. or, or the burqa. Mm -hmm. They will have to yield the, the natural law, the, the, even the inter, eternal law. Yeah. They, they, uh, thermodynamics has no no place for uh, uh, for uh, maintenance of um, maintenance of morality. Uh, well, say but, that again. But, what did you say? Immorality is an interpreted one. Morality is preservation, conservation. Morality, you say morality, morality is entropy driven. Is, is conservation of a, of a certain morale. Immorality is intrapedible. And in trophy, uh, uh, and since, since maintenance of mor mor morality is entropy driven, therefore this, they, 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 will, they will dominate. If they don't, there's something wrong with the society. Okay, I'll think that. There will be conflict. I'll think that over. This is, this is what, has, what has happened in, 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 in India. Oh, okay. The Hindus is, is a dominant part minority. That's what I am telling in, in, in living in the in an entropy driven driven India. Okay, so your opinion Mor I, morality is entropy driven. Morality morality can, cannot be preserved. Okay. Right. Morality cannot be preserved. Right, let's go to immorality is entropy driven therefore entropy. Entropy will continue. Okay, let me go to the next part. Immor Im immorality, Im immorality will be a dominant feature of the entire world. One of these days, I'll not be there. Yes, yeah, have you looked at this? This is what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. This is A, B, and B, C, and A, C. These are medium machine. They, they are they are likely to be like this and ultimately this will be the, this will be the, the majority and therefore it will dominate over this the, 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 they will lose their identity the AC will certainly lose their identity so explain explain this Pakistan passage here. Asso associative interactions aha <laughs> I might be dreaming. <laughs> You're digging in the right direction because uh, uh, Henry Henry Adams did the whole the whole thing too. This is the, this is the basis of my, 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 much of my thinking. Association. Association cannot remain, remain no, the, the dominant feature. Dissociation will come, come in. Mm -hmm. That means conflict will always be there. That's okay, see, but see, 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 what, what is happening these days? The domain, the, the, the equilibrium has shifted. It, the, Towards the end of it, everybody is going to lose the identity. America and the, and the other people having to lose the uh, concept and implemented globalization. Yeah. So everything is globalized. Corruption is also globalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Arms protection is being globalized. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, 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 that, if that continues, in that case, entropy will, will be dominant. 
and that will be the entire day. That will be we will we will all end up in the black hole. <laughs> okay, well that's one point of view. Uh, you might be wrong about that. We'll but we'll think about what you just said when we rewatch the video. But this is important here because you say associative interactions, well they could be dissociative, leading to the formation of groups and or merger of societies or individuals can also be interpreted by applying the phase rule of Willard Gibbs. Yes, which, sir. In this case, which in the case of societies deals with the constraint on the process of socialization mentioned in the preceding chapter. So where did you, how did you develop this, this theory, hypothesis? Phase rule is changes, changes in the phases, mm -hmm. okay? Pressure, concentration, and temperature. They are all the, the, the governing factors. Mm -hmm. Those governing factors, if they, if they, they, these two can bring a triple point, right? Yeah. A triple point can be can be done if appropriate temperature, concentration, and pressure are there. Well, mm, mm, many of those <coughs> inert gases. May, can be made to react, <coughs> can be made to react, or by some that is uh, that is highly uh, electrolytic, that has the that has the potential to interact. Helium cannot be uh, will remain intact. Neon yeah. will not interact. Yeah. But xenon, yes. So the platinum complex or form. Uh, 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 while I was still there, uh, the, the school to, to which I belong, uh, etc., they had they had interacted inter xenon with platinum something, platinum hexachloride or something. So that that is possible only un, only under extreme circumstances that the, even the ideal can can be interacted. And so the the, the society, the, the case of society, deal with constraints on the process of socialization mentioned in the preceding chapter. The socialization aspect, you lose your identity, you are made to lose your identity under pressure. If not temperature, if, if not pressure, then temperature. And, and uh, then, the, then the third, third is the, is the extermination of the species, total annihilation, bomb, bomb them. Mm -hmm. I don't like the Ethiopians. Yes, bomb them. Okay. That's what. <laughs> well, let me uh, to bring uh, Mirza into a historical context here. It, before uh, Mirza developed this idea that the phase rule. Uh, it applies to uh, the process of socialization. We're going to take a look at the work of Henry Adams because he wrote a book called Phase Rule, Apply Phase Rule of Willard Gibbs Applied to History. Mm -hmm. so, uh, let me see here. And he developed the uh, uh, social phase model. Now he's going to make a social Newton out of me. <laughs> well, this are you've already made it out yourself. You see, <laughs> when you talk about the phase rule applied to socialization process, you can already look and see that we go to the social Newton ranking here. Now Henry Adams is number two social Newton out of the top 50, right? He's number two. Uh, Henry Adams is second ranked, and he said a complete solution. Solution to the future science of model physical, word. chemical, social dynamics. That's the sub. He, that's his word. He seems to call for the aid of another Newton. So it, it maybe a call for the help of Mirza Big. 
let's just take, I'll take a look at, you'll see how advanced he is, how much work he did on this whole thing. So, uh, he calls, he says he needs a little help to get the thing going. But he, uh, but you see right here, he's cited uh, 452 times already in HMLP. And he's, I've known about him for some time. And you're cited 170 pages, but he worked with his brother, older brother, uh, to develop a uh, physical humanities pioneering approach to, uh, he called it physical, chemical, social dynamics. And uh, yeah. so I'll show you this, what this looks like. So for example, he says, social chemistry, the mutual attraction of equivalent human molecules is a science yet to be created, for the fact is my daily study and my only satisfaction. So that was 1885. So we see that in your book, he's speaking about the science that is yet to be created. So he's speaking about your book right here. You guys see? Yes. Uh, very nice. And he also developed social phase. Uh, I, 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 I think I can... So I caught a few of those chemical reactions, parallel to the parallel to human, human interaction, and that could be social chemistry. Why not? Now look, just what you were talking about, critical point just now, on the physical chemical law of development and dynamics of society has reached what is called the critical point, where it is near a new phase or equilibrium. And that was letter. This was his lifelong, his existence long friend, Charles Gascoigne, knew him for 50 years. He said that in 1908. And he says, I have run my head up hard against a form of mathematics that grinds my brain out like a flounder in a... I, I, I agree with this. Uh -huh. That the equilibrium is fast shifting. Yeah. Both the temperature, pressure, concentration, and the phases. They are all being... You see? All yeah, are see? so very... That the... The, the process of globalization, as I said earlier, that 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 is what is is into that. Yeah, and look down here what he says. He says no one shall persuade me that I'm not a phase. So he got to the point when he in 1908 that he believed he was a phase. He didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> He's a phase. <laughs> he, if he is not a phase, then he's being phased out. <laughs> You're funny. You see, it takes one social noon to recognize another social noon. You see? <laughs> Still recording? Yeah. Okay. You see there, Mirza? You see what I mean? Tell me what I mean. Tell me what I mean. Tell me what I mean. Look at this one here. Now he says, in 1908, he said he started looking around uh, New Haven, Connecticut. He said, I'm looking for a young and innocent physical chemist who wants to earn a few dollars by teaching an idiot what is the first element in theory and expression of physics. So he wanted to find, hire, hire someone, a physical chemist, to proofread his... <laughs> to proofread his space theory of history. So he was writing an article. Maybe. He wanted to hire you. He was looking for you. You were, you two were off by you were you were born too late. <laughs> that makes me know. <laughs> can't be viewed as a What? Let me tell you. It can't be viewed as a threat to to persuade me. <laughs> what? I can I can be an innocent physical chemist yet, but I took my my persuasion will be will need millions. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> why, why do you laugh so much at this one? What makes, it, what makes you laugh? <laughs> and expression in physics. So anyways, he ended up, uh, he says, that he was drafting this essay called The Rule of Phase Applied to History. He said it was a mere intellectual plaything like a puzzle. This is what he said to his brother. He said, I'm interested in getting it into the hands of a scientific, physical, chemical proofreader, and I'm willing to pay liberally for the job. And he said this to James Jameson, who was one of the uh, pre presidents of, uh, I think, Harvard or, or, or Yale. And he, uh, so, <laughs> it ended up, uh,
turning out that we got well <coughs> he doesn't have a, he only has to pay a few dollars to make this true <laughs> as I told you, the, the, the process of globalization is, 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 is acting in his way. So he doesn't have to spend millions. Only a few dollars will, will bring about that. Yeah? <laughs> see, see, America and the, and the other uh, rich countries, India included, they are spending all, the, all that money on to, 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 get, to get the hedge money. Uh, one superpower, now if there are only three or four superpowers fighting against one another. They will annihilate themselves and we will, we will, we will be the sufferers. The critical point. There is one diagram here. The critical point is fast approaching. Here's the diagram where he's talking about the rule of phase applied to history. When he has law of squares, and he says this is the. Uh, the reconstruction of Adam's phase rule of history conception. So he's applying the concepts of Willard Gibbs here, but the main thing. So in 1909, he wrote. Uh, the rule of phase applied to history. And he bases it on Willard Gibbs' rule of phase, just like you were doing in the last quote. And particularly, he's on the equilibrium. Uh, so he wrote a manuscript called the. Uh, uh, rule of phase applied to history. And then. Now. When, remember when he said he wanted to pay someone, they ended up getting in contact. He brought the manual script to William Henry Bumstead. He was one of the stu students of, uh, he was a, right here, Henry Bumstead. He's a former student of Willard Gibbs. And he wrote, Bumstead wrote a 27 page commentary. He's the physical chemist that he got in contact and he gave his manuscript to. So, and he paid them to review his theory. So, here's Henry Bumstead right here. And Willard Gibbs only had about five students in his whole days at Yale. So Henry Bumstead was one of his students. And he was the, he reviewed Henry Adams, the rule of phase applied to history. And the, Bumstead wrote a 27 page re response to his, his book. I haven't made it, been able to get a copy of it, but I think it's at Yale University. And, uh, now you are going to write a history of Shadari Beg. Like he did for Adams, is it? Say what? You are going to write my history, like 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 this fellow. Yeah, something like that. And the Adams, is that right? Yeah. You have a note. Yeah, look, it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already have a note on beings, social, social, yeah, social. Yeah. It's interesting, huh? See, so you're talking about. But you are not. But you are not my student. No. You are the student. Anyways, mm -hmm. the point here is that you said this in 1987 that you wanted to apply. The, you said the phase rule can be applied to socialization. So independent of you, Henry Adams said that the phase rule can be applied to not just socialization but the rise, rise and falls of civilizations in history, throughout history. So he wrote this whole book. So you see, and he, he's ranked second, social Newton. So you can see that what you're doing is. Uh, very intelligent. So next here you're talking about three-phase system right here. Three-phase system. <laughs> now let's see what you're talking about here in terms of Can you explain this part to us here? The degrees of freedom. Without changing the number, it is called the number of degrees of freedom. 
Uh, what, let's see, the degrees of freedom in order to describe a system, various degrees of freedom must be stated. So could you give me an example of a degrees of freedom in social example, in a social context? Degrees of freedom. Freedom and... Degrees of freedom. How about compared to... When we come, degrees of freedom in the senses. How about Saudi Arabia compared to? But in these cases, the degrees of freedom are disregarded to pressure, temperature, and volume. Volume and concentration, these are the whole different regions. And temperature, pressure, and concentration all have to be multiplied, multiplied, incorporated so that a triple point or a critical point is reached. Mm -hmm. Now, the, that is an impossibility. That is an impossibility, a critical point is not reached. But in, in, in social terms, the, the critical point is fast approaching. Mm -hmm. The pressure, call, call it for population pressure, that is increasing. It has increased to the critical point. <coughs> The temperature, already you, you see the, 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 the heat waves and everything, this is more, it is going up. The entropy is increasing. Earthquakes, are, there are too many earthquakes, that the intensity of the earthquake is also rising. Mm -hmm. the, previously there used to be 9.2 nine, nine uh, Mercedes scale, uh, one or two, but now there are two or three. So that has increased. The, 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 the tsunami has increased. The temperature of the ocean has, has increased. So the temperature is already going so up. And how many years from now do you think the triple point will be reached, the social triple point? I don't predict. <laughs> uh, you're, 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 so, you're a social newton. You can see into the future. <laughs> it, it depends how, 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 uh, how much heat is still there in the uh, as a <laughs> So 100 but, years, but, but, 50 but years, sun, or But the sun years. is already relatively. Okay. But the sun is already al in the, as a, at a dying stage it appears. Uh -huh. it, has been, it has not, the, the number of uh, uh, sun spots uh -huh. has decreased to the point that there are only one or two uh, sun spots in these uh -huh. One or two what? Sun spot. Sun, sun spot is, is, is an sun indication. Spot. Sun yeah. spot? Sun is what? That, that is an indicator, indication of the activity of solar activity. Okay. The solar activity has slowed down. Mm -hmm. The cosmic cosmic radiation is dominant. The, the heat, the heat of, uh, of the, the the heat of the cosmos is I don't know whether it is increased, but, but perhaps the the it, it has, because there is so much of uh, that waste from the nuclear, nuclear fusion in every galaxy that the size of the hole, uh, the size of the black hole is increasing. Okay. Uh, let's go on to point four here. Can you give me an example of this in social terms for this section right here? Unnecessary for existence of equilibrium. For thermal equilibrium is necessary. The different phases should be at the same temperature. Otherwise, heat would be flowing from one phase to another. And the heat, uh, temperature alone will be will be raising the uh, shifting the equilibrium. Okay, so let's say, for example. Uh, in case of mechanical equilibrium, the phases must, must be under the same pressure. Since otherwise, one phase would, would expand at the, uh, the expense of the volume. So what would be an example of two social phases at the same temperature here? Two social phases at the same temperature. 
to give me an example. For thermal equilibrium, it would be necessary that different phases should be at the same temperature. Yeah. What would be an example of a social, social phase? The equilibrium cannot be reached unless the uniform is right. Uh, tell me, what, what is your example here of a the, social the, phase? The, 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 the different phases will be in equilibrium if the temperature will be the same. Okay, well, but the temperature is rising. So it's India, an example of a social phase? Yeah. And Pakistan is a different social phase? Yes, sir. And they're, they're different temperature or same temperature? Pakistan, oh. the entire South, uh, uh, South Asia is, 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 is a melting point right now. Which one is that melting point? South Asia. South? South Asia. South Asia is that melting yeah. point. Yeah. But then the uh, melting point, the, the critical points, are at the choice of, uh, of the Americans, which uh, 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 Pentagon. Pentagon decides as which one should be the which be, which one should be the target? Next target. Pentagon. So let's take a look in here. Pakistan was one of the targets, but used to be a, a target. So yeah, Pakistan used to be. It will again be a target because uh, the, the body. Of, okay. Huh? It will again be a target. Yeah. Because they that uh, uh, reconciliation between America oh. and Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Has come to a halt. Trump. If, they, if there is a Trump, you can always say it, that they give them that is a triple point and they are already. <laughs> Trump is going to bring the triple point? He's the, he's the, he's the one. He's, he's the a little crazy. He's a little crazy. He's the entropy. <laughs> uh, he's the entropy. Yeah. Personalized. <laughs> Yeah, we don't uh, we don't like him very much in America. <laughs> I know, I know. There are, there are more yeah, Americans. Every time he speaks, we get more embarrassed. We, we have yeah, there like are this. more Americans who dislike him than the Americans who like him. Yeah, in the initial stage for the but first. He, but, but he will win win the election. No, he won't. He no? won't. No, nobody likes him anymore. Before he was like entertainment. Herman Irish doesn't say that it will do. No, he's it's gonna lose. Now. He's gonna lose big. Because in the initial stages, people liked him because of the reason he uh, wasn't afraid to... Uh, people in America had what's called uh, political correctness. They wouldn't say... Uh, if you ask them a certain question, they would uh, try to speak politically correct and they wouldn't address the issue. So what he, he had in, that was popular was he would, he would just speak and he didn't care if he offended anybody or whatever, but now his, uh, his entertainment... It was kind of like watching... TV show that makes you laugh, like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> but then you get you can only watch the TV show for like a month. But now he's been going on for two or three years. You don't you don't want to watch the you stop laughing anymore. It's not good. <laughs> but uh, on the face roll. Uh, oh. Hello. Oh, uh, uh, my granddaughter. You. What, uh, you like to go to school? What, what is your, what do you want to st study? Uh, what subjects do you like to study? Um, English literature. English literature? Who is your favorite uh, authors? Okay. Which, uh, which, which type of English literature do you like? What stories do you like? Did you read Dr. The Seuss? The Black Dog. The Black Dog? Oh, nice. That's good. How many books? How many books have you read this year? Two. How many books have you read? Two and three. Two, four books. Four books. Oh, that's good. Next year you'll be able to read ten books. So then you'll make you'll make your grandfather proud. Yeah, so you did it.